welcome back to Mona Lisa's Masterpieces. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lisa and I do try to upload videos on a weekly basis. I have a full-time job at home and I'm working on a couple of projects that are not related to YouTube, so there are times when I may need to skip uploading for a week or two. With that being said, I hope that you will stick around Consider subscribing to Mona Lisa's Masterpieces and click on the notification bell to be alerted every time I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be sharing how I made a faux enamel wall sign using a Dollar Tree wall decor and other supplies that I already had on hand. So I invite you to stick around to see how this quick, easy, and inexpensive wall sign turns out. To start this project, I'll be using this wall decor that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. The design on the piece is not really my style, but I do love the shape of it. It looks very vintage. I'll start by removing the string and I'll remove the happy sign, which is just adhered with some foam adhesive strips. And I'll keep the happy sign for an upcoming project. I removed the sticker from the back of the wall decor and I lightly sanded that spot with some sandpaper just to remove the residue from the sticker. Now I'm giving the sign a coat of white chalk paint from Waverly and when that's done I'll let that dry for about 20 minutes and then give it another coat. While the paint was drying, I went on to Pinterest and I did a search for some bath signs and I found this free printable and I scaled it down to the size to match my wall decor piece. And I'll go ahead now and trim that down. I've trimmed the paper now and I'm going to use my pencil to mark on the back of the paper. The graphite will help me to trace the image onto the sign. Now that the white chalk paint has dried, I'm taking a makeup sponge and dabbing it into the black acrylic paint and then removing the most of it. And I will apply the paint onto the edge of the sign just to frame that in and give it that enamel look. And I think I'll make that just a little bit thicker. Oh yes, that's perfect. Now you could use a paintbrush to do this, but you will see the brush strokes in the black paint and that might not be the look that you're going for. And here's what it looks like so far. Since it's getting so late in the day and it's getting gloomy outside because it's raining, I will set this aside to dry overnight. It's the next day, and before moving on to this step, I applied a thin coat of Mod Podge in the matte finish to the white area of the wall decor piece, and that should prevent any bleeding when I go to fill in the lettering. Now, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to fill it in with acrylic paint or with a paint marker or permanent marker. So I've attached the, the pattern onto the piece with some painter's tape just to keep it in place while I'm tracing. Every once in a while you want to lift the pattern to make sure that the image is being transferred onto the piece. Okay, all the lettering is done and it's time to reveal it now to see if all the pattern was transferred. 
And yes, it has. Of course, I'm going to save this template for another project. And this is how it turns out. I'm not sure if the camera is doing it any justice or not, if you can actually see the pencil, but I have decided that since some of the pattern is so intricate, I will just go ahead and fill in the lettering with some permanent markers. So I'm doing the outline of each letter with a thinner permanent marker, and then I'll go back in with a thicker marker and fill in the rest of it. I'm being careful to follow the brush strokes of the white paint. When this is completely dry, I will go ahead and erase the extra graphite marks and then apply another thin layer of the Mod Podge. And here is what it looks like with the lettering complete. The twine hanger that came with the wall decor was looking a bit unruly, so I decided to braid some twine that I had on hand, and now I'm attaching that to the sign. And here is what it looks like hanging on the door. I am so in love with how this project turned out, and I plan on making many more. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some inspiration to create your own piece. I will leave a list of all the items that I used in the description box below. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. It is absolutely free. Click on the notification bell to be alerted when I upload a new video. Hit the like button and in the comment section below the video, let me know if you've done a faux enamel project before or if this video inspired you to do one. Remember to share this video with your family and friends. Thank you for watching and until next time, smile and create your own masterpiece today.